performance piece of section 6 is Blue Farm. There's a good test over here. If you've been practicing really hard, you should not have any problem with the lead guitar. The most exciting part is the riff that's going to come up. And you're also learning one new chord. You're learning a chord called B minor 7. So when we come to the rhythm guitar section, I will even show you how you practice changing to the B minor 7 chord. Anyways, let's hear the lead first. pentatonic lead. Now we come to the riff guitar which you can play with a slight distortion. simple rhythm guitar and then the proper rhythm guitar. So as you see you're now going to graduate slowly into proper rhythm guitar playing where the concept of strumming is emphasized on. So it's a gradual progression. First you play chords in whole notes, then you start changing chords in half notes and now you will be also learning an off beat. happening here. One is this B minor 7 chord which is uh, a very easy shift from the E minor chord. If you are holding A2 and D2 to play E minor and all the other strings open, you need to leave your middle finger on A2. Take your ring finger down to G2 and then this little finger that's free, put it on E2 all in a straight line and strum it from the 5th string. That's your B minor 7 chord. The most gradual shift, so what you should initially do is just practice E minor to B minor 7. So that's E minor, then B minor 7, back to E minor, then B minor 7. And if you get that, that's going to be really good. From there, to move on to A minor 7, this middle finger, which is on A2, bring it down to D2. Leave everything else and put your first finger on B1. That's how you get A minor 7. So these changes from E minor to B minor 7 and A minor 7 would be one big achievement in this chord change. That's E minor, B minor 7, and then A minor 7. And the 
the song ends on an E major chord which we've also learnt in FBI but I'm just going to reiterate because it's the full position this time. We know how to play E minor which is A2 and D2. You just add your first finger on G1 and you get the major chord sound. Okay, moving on to the rhythm guitar, the proper rhythm guitar which is on a offbeat. It's actually two strums, one on the beat one and the other one is on the and of two. So it's going to sound like one and two and. So one and two and. One and two and. You can practice doing that just holding one open string and keeping a beat on. So this is what one and two and sounds like. One and feel you'll understand how the whole chord progression goes. It's actually going to sound like that. It's going to sound like Let's hear it with the backing track. are pretty tricky and if you don't practice bar by bar, shift by shift, there is a chance there could be a lot more mistakes. 